How you doing guys? If you've been watching my videos, you know I'm big on uh, individual fitness and it's uh, great for being prepared and it's just good in general to have an awesome life and to be awesome. And uh, if you uh, start working out a lot, you may get to the point where regular pull-ups and regular dips aren't enough for you and you want to add weight. And what you would use for that would be a belt that you put around your waist and you can clip weights onto it to perform weighted pull-ups or weighted dips. But those belts cost anywhere between like $30 to $60, maybe even more. And they're pretty basic, so there's no reason for you to uh, pay full retail because I'll show you how to build one for well under 10 bucks. Sometimes you can get it for around five bucks, depending on if you may have materials lying around. But all you're gonna need is a pool noodle like this one. You don't have to get the really big one. Walmart had this for $1.88, so that's less than $2 right there. You may already have one to be able to find one lying around. Then you're also gonna need about five or six feet of chain, nothing too crazy. It, um, it can be the cheaper stuff. Oh, I lost my light. That was weird. It can be the cheaper stuff, but you should want it to be, a, be able to hold at least, you know, like 200 pounds. Not that you would be using that much, but it's no reason to go for the really cheap stuff. It should be a decent chain of about five or six feet. And then all you're going to need is a knife and a pair of bolt cutters and a carabiner that can hold a decent amount of weight. Not one of the really cheap ones that you would use for a keychain or something like that, but a decent carabiner. So that may run you another couple dollars. And that'll put you, if you don't have any of it, you know, if you have to buy the carabiner, the chain, and the pool noodle, that'll still probably put you right at about 10 bucks. It's a lot cheaper than buying one new. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make this. First thing you wanna do is take your uh, pool noodle and go ahead and put it around your waist. You wanna kinda measure, cause it's probably gonna be, unless you're significantly bigger than I am, it's probably gonna be a little long. So you wanna measure exactly how long you want this thing to be because you don't want these to have to overlap and you want it to be able to be tight around your waist. So find out where would be a good spot roughly for it to, because these hang off your hips like this and then the chain comes down. So you want it to be able to be long enough to wrap around your hips. So then you can just take a marker. It doesn't have to be a big fat ass marker like this one, but these do smell the best. So anyways, as I was saying, yeah, put it right around your hips, not too high up around your waist, more around your hips because you don't want it to be too short. And then just go ahead and find a mark where it would be about equal length on both sides. Probably right there. Pretty simple. Not rocket science. Then taking the, uh, the knife of your choice, just go ahead and uh, cut your noodle. They're pretty easy to work with. This foam is not very hard to cut. You can even get a nice straight cut. All right, so now we've got our noodle cut to the proper length. And then all you gotta do is cut the uh, chain if you got it too long. I got mine a little longer because I wasn't sure exactly how long I would need it. So you are gonna need a pair of bolt cutters. If you don't have a pair of bolt cutters, I would recommend doing the noodle portion first and using a string or something to measure how long you need the chain to be because they will cut the chain for you at somewhere like Lowe's or Home Depot. You just ask them how much, they tell them exactly how many inches you need. But I wasn't sure exactly how it was gonna go. Now, you don't want it to just end like this. You want it to have a little bit of extra because you're gonna have to loop it through the weight plates or wrap around the you know, dumbbell, whatever other type of weight you're lifting. So you do want there to be a little bit of weight but it, or length, but as you can see, I've got way too much excess length here. So all I'm gonna do is just, just determine how much I need realistically. And if yours is a little long, it's better to be a little long because you can always just clip it together with the carabiner and have a little piece of extra hanging out. That's not a big deal. Too short would kind of be a disaster because you can't use it at all. So, you know, think about where you might need it and then just give it, a, you know, an extra six inches or something. You could all use it a couple extra inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark this where I think would be appropriate and then uh, give it a snip. So if your chain is too long, just take your trusty bolt cutters, find the spot that you marked, and go ahead and just snip it. These things are always awesome. Woo! Maybe I should have worn eye protection for that. But there we go. So now we got our chain to length. And the next step is just to grab your carabiner and put it all together.
All right, guys, so there you have it, a working uh, weight belt for uh, dips, pull-ups, whatever you want to do, rope climbs, you name it. You can figure something out. You can do squats in between two, uh, you know, raised things, figure all sorts of crazy shit out with it. And uh, I may not be able to hold a ton of weight, but uh, I'm not going to be testing the limits of mine anytime soon. I only was doing that with 25 pounds, and I was already tough, so probably need to work on that. I'll talk to you guys later.